Hello, my name is Dr. Lana Fitzgerald Hushek, Associate Medical Officer of Health for York Region. I want to start by thanking all our residents for your continued vigilance and support in safeguarding our communities as we experience increased COVID-19 activity in York Region. We are at our highest levels of daily cases to date and seeing outbreaks in many different settings. Many of you have made difficult sacrifices to help curb the spread of the virus, and we know it isn't easy for families and businesses. These sacrifices include limiting contacts outside your household, finding new ways to celebrate Halloween and special occasions, and closing businesses under modified Stage 2 COVID-19 restrictions. We have entered our third week of modified Stage 2. The Government of Ontario announced these restrictions for York Region on October 16th, and they were put into place on October 19th for a minimum period of 28 days. These restrictions include limiting the size of organized public events and social gatherings to 10 people or less indoors and 25 people or less outdoors. These limits cannot be combined and physical distancing must be maintained. The provincial restrictions focus on high contact locations and activities where masks are often removed and contact between individuals may be greater than 10 to 15 minutes. This includes the closure of indoor dining and drinking in restaurants and bars, and the closure of indoor gyms, fitness centres and cinemas, for example. These decisions were not made lightly, and the impact of COVID-19 continues to take a toll on individuals, families and businesses across York Region. Last week, we issued public notices for two events in York Region associated with large COVID-19 clusters. A gathering of three families over several days, including Thanksgiving, resulted in 16 cases and led to spread in a workplace. And a large two-day wedding with approximately 100 attendees has 49 cases associated so far. These are not stories we are happy to tell, but they remind us how important it is to limit our social gatherings, to stay two meters away from those outside our households, and to take other precautions, like wearing face coverings in indoor public spaces and when distancing cannot be maintained. Social gatherings may seem harmless, but COVID-19 can spread rapidly to our families and friends and into schools, workplaces, and long-term care homes, which are particularly vulnerable. When we get together with people outside our households, there is a risk. The province released new modelling data last week, showing three different scenarios for Ontario's second wave of COVID-19. The province is not expected to exceed the 150-bed threshold for COVID-19 occupancy in intensive care units in the next month, unless the situation gets rapidly worse. One measure that the province and York Region Public Health are monitoring closely is the number of cases per 100,000 population over a seven-day period. The province would like to see all regions down to a rate of at least 25 cases per 100,000 population, and ideally to 10 cases per 100,000 population, or less. What that means, based on our York Region population, is that we would need an average of 40 cases per day, to get to a rate of 25 cases per 100,000 population, and an average of 15 cases per day to get to the rate of 10 cases per 100,000 population here in York Region. As of November 1st, our seven-day average is over 103 cases per day. Now is the time for all of us to be more vigilant than ever, and I know that our collective efforts can get us through this. The initial 28-day time frame for modified Stage 2 ends on Sunday, November 15th at 11.59 p.m. We continue to have dialogue with the Chief Medical Officer of Health, the province, and our mayors across our cities and towns to determine next steps. On Monday, York Region Council met to discuss next steps and how we will be providing recommendations and feedback to the province for their consideration. York Region Public Health has developed a task force to review feedback received from our business community and to assess measures which could be put in place to allow businesses to safely reopen. As we get further into autumn and with winter on the horizon, the best thing that you can do is to fall back to the basics of our public health advice. Practice physical distancing and avoid gatherings with those outside your household. 
Wear a mask in indoor public spaces and when you can't maintain two meter distancing with those outside your household. Wash your hands well and often. Practice cough and sneeze etiquette. Avoid touching your face with unwashed hands. And please, stay home when you're sick and get tested if you have COVID-19 symptoms or have been a close contact of someone with COVID-19. Download the COVID Alert app and get your flu shot. It's especially important this year. Symptoms of COVID-19 can be like the flu, and it may be hard to tell the difference. So to protect against influenza, York Region Public Health recommends getting the flu shot. Although flu vaccine will not protect against COVID-19, there are additional benefits to being immunized against the flu during this pandemic. Getting a flu shot and preventing influenza can help stop our hospitals from becoming overwhelmed in trying to treat flu and COVID-19 patients, and it may help reduce unnecessary testing for COVID-19. You can get your flu shot at healthcare providers, pharmacies, or walk-in clinics. And York Region Public Health will be offering community flu immunization clinics this year. For information on where you can get your flu shot, visit york.ca slash flu. Lastly, we recognize that the COVID-19 pandemic is stressful for individuals and communities, and situations like this can affect our mental health. So if you are feeling overwhelmed, please seek help. There are many community resources available, whether you are a child, teen, or adult. You can access services and tips at no cost online or by phone, including with the Canadian Mental Health Association, the Kids Help Phone, and Bounce Back Ontario or contact your healthcare provider. Our website, york.ca slash COVID-19, has more mental health resources and information on how to cope with and reduce stress and anxiety, how to talk to your children about COVID-19, and how to support yourself and your loved one's mental health. There is no need to go through this alone. We are in this together. Thank you all for your kindness towards and support of one another. And please, Stay vigilant and stay safe.